Good morning, children. Today we are in Unit 11, Principles of Metallurgy of 10th Class. Within this session, we are going to study about metallic nature of certain metals, principles of metallurgy. What is a metal? If you go for this particular metal, the definition, before going to definition of metal, if you come for metals, metal will play an important role in our daily life. For example, if I go for gold and silver, these gold and silver can be get can be get, can be get prepared in such a way that they can be used in the form of jewelry or or else ornamental wear purpose we can use it up as gold is very costly. Next one is what if I go for aluminium, copper as well as iron, brass. By using these all metals, we can prepare different types of utensils which can be get used for household appliances. For household appliances, we can use it up. Not only that one, for constructing of wires, different types of wires, we are seeing it up through to supply electricity, to supply electricity, a metallic substance called as a copper wire or some thickness can be get used to supply electricity through that particular wire there. Therefore, by this way, not only that one, we are also seeing it of metals as well as some alloys. Alloys are nothing but what they are. They are nothing but what mixture of two or three metals. Mixture of two or three metals such as like chrome wire. If you go for nichrome wire, copper plus as well as manganese plus iron, three different metals mix up together to form an alloy of nichrome. Similarly, if we are going for some other another another alloy, that is what magnet wire. If I take it up, that magnet wire consisting of what copper, manganese as well as copper, manganese as well as a nickel with certain proportion they will be get mixed up to form an alloy of magnet. These metals as well as alloys will play an important role in our household appliances. In our household appliances so that this metal is playing a permanent role that above that particular extraction of the particular metals from the earth crust that particular phenomena is called as nothing but what metallurgy. That extraction of pure metal from earth crust which are existing in the form of mineral ore or else ores. Next one is what native nature metals. We can extract it from the earth crust. That particular phenomena or process is called as metallurgy. Before going to the topic of metallurgy in the form of coming to what, what is a metal? What is a metal? Metal is nothing but what a substance which can be get formed, which can be found under the earth crust in the form of mineral ores, ores or in native state. We can call it as nothing but what? Metal. These metal by default on heating, what they will produce, it consisting of metals consisting of maximum number of electrons. Free flow of electrons will be taking place. As free flow of electrons are taking place, what happens? As we are heating, easily we can extract electrons from that one and it can convert in the form of an ion. That ion is called as a positive ion, M plus ion, it will be get formed. By that we can say that these metals are, are reactive in nature. Metals are more reactive in nature, less reactive in nature metal, metals are existing. We'll see it up within the occurrence of metal there. Occurrence of metals will see it up, occurrence of the ores will see it up in the metal topic there. 
the, by that we can say that they are little bit reactive in nature. These metals are what compounds? Inorganic compounds. Inorganic means what? Which does not consist of any life. We can call them as what? Inorganic compounds. These metals are nothing but what? Inorganic compounds. These metals can also be get to exist in the form of native state mineral ore as well as both in the form of native state they can be to exist as well as combined state they can be exist as they are existing in native the metals which are existing in native state we can call them as less reactive metal the metals which are existing in combined state we can call them as what more reactive in nature metals we can call it up that is the concept here few examples we are seeing it up sodium as well as potassium i have taken there these sodium and potassium metals can be cut with a knife as they are in solid nature but easily they can be cut with a knife in the form of flat sheet they can be get existing easily we can cut with a knife when it comes to iron it is existing in solid in nature due to existence of solid in nature it will be much more stronger there Coming to one more metal, what is that metal? If I am taking up hydrogenium or mercury, mercury is a metal which is existing in a liquid state, which is existing in what state? There, a liquid state. That is about few little bit introduction about little bit information about metals. These metals will have physical properties as well as chemical properties. But we are discussing here physical properties. What what properties we are discussing here? Physical properties we are discussing it up. What are the physical properties? Let me see it up there. First physical property is what these metals are lustrous as well as shiny. What does it mean? Lustrous means what? Smooth in nature. Smooth in nature as well as shiny in nature. Therefore, lustrous as well as shiny in nature. Next one is what? These metals are good conductors. Why they are good conductors? As they consisting of maximum number of electrons. Maximum number of electrons will be get connected as we are connecting to a circuit. Free flow of electrons can be easily taken place. Therefore, we can call them as nothing but what good conductors. These, as they are good conductors, they can conduct heat as well as they can also conduct electricity also. The heat waters by using utensils of different metals. By using this particular heat, we can cook the food simultaneously by electricity. Means what passage of electric current from from uh, from transformer to that of household appliances, we can do it. Up. That is next. That is the second point called as a good conductors. Third point is what third property is what it is. Metals are having a nature called as ductility nature. It is existing there. What is meant by ductility in nature? Means what? A metal can be stretched, stretched in the form of a wire. Metal can be stretched up as it can be that so the metal is having a nature. As we stretch a particular metal, what happens? It can be get stretched in the form of wires. In the form of wires. Similarly, example, if you go for cable wires. Cable wires are existing orders to supply electricity. What they are doing? They are using copper wires. Those all copper wires will be existing in the form of cable. They will be existing in the form of form of cable. They can be useful for various appliances. There. That is, cable wires we can get up. Not only that one for soldering purpose also. These particular metals will be get useful. That is, as it is having a property called as. Ductility property soldering. If any on in a TV, if any small circuit has been get a, a short circuited, what happened by using soldering gun? We can easily take out that particular short circuited chip, and again we can place another chip in place of that one by soldering. By soldering we can do it up. Therefore, metals are having a nature called as ductility in nature, as they can be get set up in the form of why also there that is third property coming to fourth property what is this for the fourth 
personal property metals are having a nature of malleability malleability nature is existing what does it mean malleability means what any strong metal if you have beaten they can be get converted in the form of flat sheets flat sheets can be get it can be a metal can be get converted in the form of flat sheet by increasing the width and decreasing the thickness of that particular metal examples if i go for aluminium aluminium as i am tampering continuously by using hammer what happen aluminium sheet can be get form that aluminium sheet is useful for what purpose in manufacturing of aeroplanes for manufacturing of aeroplanes we can use it as a particular aluminium sheet similarly iron sheet iron rod is iron bulk of block of iron is there if i am tampering continuously by using hard metal hard substances then what happen the weakness of the particular metal will gradually decreases and a uh, spreading of the particular metal will be taken place that particular metal sheet can be used in uh, preparation or in a uh, uh, construction of ship or manufacturing of ships also can be get done not only that one other metals if i am taking it up different types of metals they can also be useful for preparation or manufacturing of different automobiles cars etc even cars motor bikes or parts of cars parts of motor bike etc so on for various appliances in automobile field we can use as metals are having a property called as malleability malleability property is existing due to that reason we can have this particular one that next one is what metals metals are having one more property what is that property called as sonality what does it mean that itself means what if i have hitting hitting a particular metal with a hard object with a it can produce a deep sound as well as a ringing sound can be get produced easily it can be get vibrated and maximum number of electrons are existing they can take the particular energy into sound energy there the example if you go for that particular one is what first one is what you can take it as what a bell ring in the school as time completed for after 50 minutes will ring the bell when it when it's on the particular key hammer which is existing near that particular gong it starts vibrating continuously and it is starting vibrating continuously it hits that particular metal and it will go back to and fro motion takes place due to that one we can hear a louder sound as metal is having metal material is having a, a property called as sonority property is existing due to existence of these five properties physical properties metal is playing and metals are playing a prominent role in our life in our life therefore the that is the reason why metal has prepared metal has become a prop uh, it has it has a it has become an important role in our life but that is a, a new concept came into existence that concept is nothing but what a phenomenon called as metallurgy what does it mean metallurgy means what extraction of metals from their ores extraction of metals from their ores they will be existing in the form of mineral ore or individual ore or as native state they can be get existing i have given some examples here i have given some examples here if i go for iron ore iron ore two examples are given for each one iron ore it can be hematite as well as magnetite these two are nothing but what ores in which maximum percentage of iron can be get existing with other clay particles as well as quartz particles etc so on next one is what copper copper pyrites as well as cuprite in which copper percentage of metal will be maximum ore of copper the copper the next one is what zinc if i am taking the zinc plant as well as zinc site those two are have given two examples so many are there i am giving for each ore to some extent so that you can understand that what are ores there whether it is a mineral ore or else or else an individual ore of the metal coming to aluminium aluminium is also having in the form of bauxite ore or else kolonite ore we can give it up these 
are some examples from this particular box, we can extract a pure metal. We can extract what metal can be? Pure metal can be then extracted. That pure metal can be used for various appliances such as for jewellery purpose, for household appliances, for what else to, to manufacture automobiles and as well as in how many ways household appliances we can use it up to prepare utensils etc so on for various purpose they can be get uh, utilized next one is what based upon this particular metals in pre-history in a pre-history if you take it up there is a history of uh, our life if you take it up we are happy we can go through with what one is bronze age as well as one more age will be get existing, iron age will be get existing. These are the two periods there itself in bronze age. What happened? The people who belong to the bronze age, they started using metal of bronze. They started using metal of bronze as well as copper and tin also will tin also has been get used in the form mixture of copper and tin of an alloy also because they have been get used. Whereas iron age, in iron age what happened there? Maximum metal called as iron metal, they have utilized. They have utilized. Therefore, as metals are playing a prominent role, these principles of metallurgy came into existence. That the reason from the earth crust we are extracting metals from the mineral ore, ores as well as native nature metals. In further classes, we will go in depth into the concept. Till that time, try to watch this particular video number of times and gain knowledge. Thank you, children.